Brand new model at the time of this filming. This is a 361 RLW Cougar here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It is an update and a replacement for the previously known 344 MKS Cougar. Also previously here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. But what's great, guys, is you may not realize it, but what you're kind of looking at here is a little bit of a Montana in disguise. This is really kind of one of the this is one of the biggest cougars they make. Uh, it's also got a couple bigger features. Like uh, cougars always have the bigger shock dampening suspension system, but if you notice up here on their really big models on their fifth wheels, they'll go ahead and throw on the shock dampening pin box as well. And that's kind of what I mean by a uh, a sort of well hidden Montana. It's got all the really critical features of a Montana, but it's something that is far more three quarter ton and budget friendly. Now to really do any like refrigerator packing in this thing, you are going to need to bump the slide out, although you could get to the freezer with the slides closed. However, the design of this layout uh, really offers itself to excellent access to like your pantry and dry storage with the slides closed. As you can see here, like uh, this could be coat closet, this could be pantry space, kind of shelve it off. You could do whatever you really wanted with it with more storage below. And of course, we wrap our way up this little staircase here and we're going to get easy access to the bedroom as you can kind of peek there, as well as the bathroom, handy dual access at that. But mostly, this is going to be a bigger destination trail. It's actually one of the very largest cougars that they make. Um, but uh, interestingly, it's also been one of the more popular layouts they've produced in, in recent years. So if you wake up in the morning and you come downstairs, this is pretty much the view that you're going to be greeted with. This thing has just a huge expansive feel. Now the living room is really not very different from the little more condensed 315 RLS Cougar you find here at Haylitz, but um, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know, it just feels a little more full-timer friendly especially once we get upstairs, really, and that's the thing, is once you go past the downstairs super slides, the front half of the RV is absolutely fantastic inside and out, the things that they did there. Um, so you notice how there's these uh, really bright panels right into those slide fascia. Those are backlit LED accent panels, and you'll see kind of the same thing going on up here above your uh, kitchen as well. It, it, we'll see this thing in what I call stealth mode, night mode with only indirect lights running later. But first I want to zero in on the fact that this thing has a ton of windows and they're all on the door side of your RV so that you can see your campsite, not the neighbors. Now unfortunately, big windows are not super camera friendly so I had to pull the shades. The good news is that in a Cougar, you've got nicer shades. It has these really heavy duty, rugged, uh, like uh, wooden blinds. Now they function and they work exactly like a pleated night shade. It's, it's just literally a lift it up, drop it down, and they have the little spinny mechanism thing there of a metallic mini blind. So they kind of give you the best of both worlds. But what's better is you can clean them. You can actually clean those things. Now what's also cool over here at our main super slide, we've got touch switched dimmer lighting. And if you just hold your finger on it, you can see that you can dim the lights down and even as a memory setting. That is really cool when it's movie night, which is one of the things this floor plan does extremely well, among the many things it does very well, because you've got what I like to refer to as a no neck wrecker entertainment right here. So you've got a uh, set of wall hugging, dual reclining cinema seats here with little uh, remote control hidden storage armrest console and a couple drink holders directly on boardwalk and park place across from that huge 4K HD TV. And, as you can see, that TV is no joke. You can pivot that thing around to face wherever you want, whenever you want. I don't care if you're standing at the kitchen island cooking, you can still get a decent shot at it, or you can tilt the TV backwards toward that rear sofa and uh, get yourself a sort of uh, little conversation area going. Or, what you can also kind of do is use it to uh, maybe entertain some guests at night if you fold open the hide-to-bed sofa. So I've killed all the main direct lighting. The only lights we're getting, now there's a little bit of bleed through coming from the shades obviously from this being midday, but the only things I've lit up right now are just indirect lights and I have the slide lights dimmed down right now. So this is what I call stealth mode. This is evening lighting situation. So if it's going to be movie time or if you've got someone sleeping on the back or you're waking up in the morning and you're not ready for the, the bright lights to hit you straight in the face, you know, this is what it's going to look like. Now a couple cool things going on here. You see how you can still utilize fully one of those wall-hugging cinema seats right there. So if you want to sleep two adults on the back, maybe a little kiddo on the cinema seat, or if you just want to, you know, use it for a daytime nap, you can do that. 
Now, if you take a look on both sides of that sofa, a couple cool things going on. First of all, again, this does fit adults. I've slept on one of these for the weekend, did just fine. Both sides of the sofa, though, have stands with storage cabinet doors, as well as household outlets on both sides. So what that means is if you have adult guests, even the height of bed is CPAP friendly, not to mention having phone chargers all over the place. But another cool thing that this can do right here is if you notice, you want to swing that TV around so that uh, it faces right toward the height of bed at night, where that's going to be really handy are for maybe grandpas and grandmas who need to try to get the grandkids wound down at the end of the night. You can play a movie, you can slow their bodies down, and they'll drift themselves off to sleep, put the TV on a timer, or just let the, the movie or the DVD or whatever uh, run its course, and wake them up in the morning. And everybody will sleep good, and everyone will have a good time. But the storage. Oh my gosh, guys, the storage in this thing. And really, that's again, remember I call this kind of a, a little Montana, a mini Montana in disguise. I call this an update and upgrade to the 344 MKS Cougar, which it is. But if you really look at them, if you really look at them, this is, in a lot of ways, a, a little more streamlined and efficient version of a 3720RL Montana. Big luxury, one-ton, heavy, beautiful, but expensive sucker. So again, if you're looking for more of that three-quarter ton friendliness and a, a little more reasonable price tag, that's right where this cougar comes in. But there's, I mean, again, it's not like you're settling here. This is a sharp stud floor plan. So you got that extra large 5100 BTU electric space heater with the dual drawers on each side of that Bluetooth stereo. But look at this pantry tainment center. The TV kind of functions as a door for the just really big chunk of storage behind it. And hey, why not add more storage above? Now, all of our cabinet doors are hardwood framed. Uh, everything's pocket screwed. I mean, this is well built, really. It's, it's actually constructed the cabinetry is exactly the same as a Montana. It's just, you know, maybe a different uh, fascia color. Now you've got this huge pantry directly in the slide out itself and every one of those shelves are adjustable or removable and they did not waste an ounce of space under that stove, under that countertop, nothing. Extra large residential size microwave with more storage hugging its way all around that and a very traveling friendly four door gas electric fridge with an automatic changeover regulator. But really, I mean, we're not done there because there's a bunch of storage within the island still. First of all, you might have noticed all the kitchen countertops are solid surface. We do have nicer metallic sprayer faucet type hardware. Uh, and there are dual sink covers. I simply have removed one so you could see how big and deep and useful those stainless sinks are right there. Um, down below though, this is what I was getting at extra large chunk of space for a waste basket. I put the other sink cover down there just to kind of give you a little bit of idea of size. Big shelves for like bigger stuff right below the sink area there. And hey, why not more drawers? If you notice in that top drawer, even a little silverware utensil organizer in there. As we wrap around, another thing Cougar is excellent for are easy reach outlets in their kitchens. You can see that you've got a couple right here on the face of the island. Now, if you look up in the corner right below the microwave, there's another one uh, in that little cabinet hutch over there as well. But this front wall, this moving forward is where this one really starts to be unique and identify, uh, like, or be identifiable and unique and have an identity. Holy crap, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> anyway, so in the center here, we got this floor to ceiling just generic open storage space. Like I said, you want to add shelves, you want to make it a coat hanging closet, do whatever you want with it. Someone's going to ask, why aren't there little coat hanger knobs in there? Well, that's because this thing right here, with a motion sensitive light that'll kick on just even as I'm moving around, it kicked itself on. You've got a full hanging bar with these huge removable shelves below. Now, most Cougars are set for a combo washer dryer in the bedroom. This is capable of a combo or stackable down here at the ground level. So if you want to run some laundry overnight, it's not going to be rumble bumbling around and waking you up at night. And like I said, once again, it's just, it's one more way that this is a little more like a Montana and a little less like a Cougar, but still pretty much all awesome. <laughs> so moving forward from there, well, uh, one of the other neat things here is this sort of wraparound staircase. I don't know why it's not that it's any different from any other RV staircase. It just has a cool feel to it. And a big old viewing window here. Right when you come outside, you know, or your bedroom, your bathroom, whatever, peek out there, keep an eye on your campsite, all sorts of stuff. Now, quick little pit stop before we hit the bed and bathroom. 
we've got our in command control panel. Um, I've done a lot of videos on these things now, so uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with in-command, please give us a call. Basically, it can run your lights, your slides, your awnings, uh, you can control your water pump, your heating and cooling, and whatever you can do here. You can link to it on your phone, and you can control it on your phone. So imagine waking up at night and it's too hot or too cold. You don't have to get up. You don't have to even get out of the blankets. You can just grab your phone, adjust the heating as you prefer, go back to bed. Also... All Cougars, like big Cougar that we're in, has been zero degree rated for a while. But they also now have 12 volt tank heating pads. Now the uh, bathroom door here opens, so you see you've got an easy dual entry. It's, and that's the thing, it's got such a big open flowing upper deck. This has a much larger upper deck than most Cougars. But also, every interior doorway on a Cougar product ha is fully studded. It's like three inches thick. It's thicker, heavier, stronger. But really, if you look at the weight tags on Cougars, they're pretty reasonable. 11,320 pounds? Man, that ain't bad. I mean, that's not bad for how big of an RV we're looking at. Massive mirror right here. And uh, not like the world's ridiculously largest linen cabinet in the bathroom, but enough. You can keep plenty of towels in there. It's smart. It's intelligently sized. It's enough. Now, uh, it's kind of like my wife says all the time, all right, enough. <laughs> she says that to me a lot, actually. Now, down below, full storage below the sink. That's something Cougar models are always really good for. Um, also, you've got uh, pressed membrane countertops here in the bathroom next to that big sink. So in the kitchen, we have those nice solid surface counters. Here in the bathroom, we've got the uh, membrane counters. Now, over here, you can see you've got an easy entry walk-in shower with that handy little seating space right there. And this is going to be plenty large. And because the shower plumbing sunken into the floor... Uh, you're never going to have, uh, you know, like headroom issues in here unless you're six and a half foot or taller, I'd, I'd estimate. Also, porcelain foot flush stool right here. Now, you kind of got an interesting choice. This is one of the few Cougars with a dual entry bathroom. That's not a normal feature among Cougar models. Before we get too far along in the bedroom here, I do want to take a look up. You can see that second air conditioner right there at the top. That's an optional piece of equipment, but pretty much anything like this, like a triple slide or like with a big bedroom slide at Halo RV, we're going to put that on there. Also, we've had a lot of feedback, a lot of people looking for king beds. So we've got a 70 by 80 king bed here. But what's cool, guys, because this has an expanded upper deck, you've got more room to easily walk around this king bed than in pretty much any other Cougar floor plan. But what I want to draw your attention to here is this front wall. I like these front windshields. I generally like them a lot. However, one of the things that drives me crazy, there's a lot of fifth wheels with front windshields nowadays, and they always have like some kind of, they call it a couch, but it's like a pontoon boat bench. It's not comfy. Maybe it looks neat, but it certainly isn't super functional. It maybe has a little storage below it, but I love what Cougar did here. And it's really what kicks off this, well, I'm going to call it a full-on bedroom master suite. They took something neat, they gave it that windshield to make it look and feel bigger in here, but they made it super insanely functional with just all kinds of closet and dresser space. So I want to climb right up here. You see you've got dual hanging closets on both sides. Very symmetrical front end. I like things with symmetry. You'll also find that you've got all sorts of uh, outlets up here on this handy little sort of, I don't know, dresser? headboard in a way not like bed headboard or top of the dresser what's the top of a dresser called is it just called the top of a dresser anyway now both sides you can't really see it on the left side but down below the hanging closets you do have an extra little storage pocket triple big dresser drawers below because there is an, uh, a drawer almost all the way down to the floor there so i mean they utilized every little nook and cranny they could and of course there's a privacy shade built into that front window so that uh you know if you want to be able to change your clothes in relative privacy you can now bedroom tv is and has been standard in big cougar fifth wheels for about a year now down below that more appliance outlets for i don't know more lights more fans more alarm clocks more phone chargers all sorts of dresser space i mean it's just crazy but the two hanging closets alone are kind of small cougar said hey no problem, man. Take a look at this. Here's another one, and here's another one. And this thing just has just a crazy amount of bedroom space overall. Everything they did here, it's, it's, it's just crazy. Very impressive, actually. And even to the left of the bed, if someone's a little bit claustrophobic, or if you want one of the most CPAP-friendly stands possible, you've got the perfect little place to do it. Another thing I want to point out is if you do want to get up here and get dressed in the bedroom, you've got a very nice chunk of floor space here to be able to do that. So you don't have to go into the bathroom. You don't have to go down to the living room just to put on a pair of pants, you know? 
It also doesn't hurt that this thing just has a look to it. Am I right? Man alive does this have a good look to it over here. So uh, moving in, a couple things I want to hit on here. We've got the uh, four step more ride stable steps as you come in with those adjustable foot pegs. So I mean easy step entry, you never have to make a big long tall step or anything like that. And notice how Keystone, uh, a lot of people say yeah they just put their badging on it, but that blue Keystone insignia plate right there, part of the reason that's there is that you don't step too far forward or tend to drop stuff. And it's kind of like a little oops shield in a way. The main entry door is wider, it is taller, you have that folding entry handle, and it is anti-slam so that it doesn't bang against anything. Now you might notice how you have dual awnings on this. Where it's parked, I can't really get a good angle at it with the awnings open, but you can see very clearly we've got dual power awnings. They're both easy tilt with LED lighting, auto rain dump, you know, slice dice, Julian. Now, because we have an extended upper deck here, they had this little spot. They had room. This is basically below the shower. They had a spot here where they said, well, we could either forget it exists, which is dumb, or we could do something with it. And Cougar said, you know what? We helped Capitol Grill literally get into the RV market. Why don't we just slide one of those in here real quick? So if you're looking for something with an outside kitchen, you've got one of the best outside cooktops ever because this is just a screaming hot actual grill, not burner. It's so hot they actually have to use galvanized rolled steel countertops, a little more weather resistant, which is nice too, uh, to yeah, for like heat management basically. Um, or or, or, and, rather, right around the corner you got power outlets. You want to put a little mini fridge in here, knock yourselves out, guys. No big deal. Now, down here, you can see you've got your TV hookups if you're so inclined, but this is your in-command brain. So, long story short, easier access to basically all the wiring in the RV. Keystone color codes everything, which is not industry standard, mind you. So, God forbid you need service, which, first of all, it's going to be wired more accurately because people can see what they're doing, and secondly, Techs can diagnose this more quickly because they can see what they're doing. So you need it less and it'll take less to do it. But also, instead of a normal little fuse box, you've got these little automotive like bus relays basically. And you can get these basically anywhere. They can handle a lot more power than most RVs tend to utilize in the towable industry. And God forbid that touchpad doesn't want to work. We haven't had one happen yet, but God forbid it doesn't. You can still manually select things like um, leveling jack motors, stabilizer motors, awnings, slides. You still have a physical switch you can push if you need to kind of override stuff. And there's more of that motion lighting. And how about just a nice, big, clean, open pass-through. Very impressive. We do have four-point auto leveling on here with programmable hitch height memory. So you, uh, the, basically the fifth wheel can be effectively trained to remember how high your truck sits before it's hitched or after it's unhitched. That way, when you're done, the fifth wheel can drop itself back to the appropriate height and you can just back up to it and latch onto it. You don't have to have somebody standing over there with the the up down button going yep no back forward wait up down you know that's dumb that's annoying that is an automotive inset windshield in that painted nose cap and things like that are where i like to talk about keystone's three-year structural warranty and how they have a more comprehensive one than pretty much anybody else out there because by having their own paint shop keystone doesn't have to outsource their paint they can do things like cover the uh paint on their nose caps in their structural warranty also, you know, things like welds in the walls, you assume that's covered under most structural warranties. You would assume incorrectly. Many of them, it is not. Howdy, folks. Welcome. Uh, again, I just want to reiterate the fact that not only do we have the road armor suspension, we also have the matching pin box up here. And I do want to take just a second, if you'll indulge me, I forgot to kill my battery box. Power is a limited resource for me, and I don't want to waste it. Uh, over here at our docking station, fully enclosed, privatized, protected heated gate valves. You got the blue coily hose. I finally remembered to hook up once. Uh, this is your outside shower, basically. But what's cool, if you notice, it's got like a residential garden hose fitting end on it. So if you do want to get one of those little sprayer faucet things, you can. Another neat little thing I want to point out, a little side solar prep. But the key TV, you don't have the like signal antenna booster switch anymore. Basically, key TV is a Keystone proprietary thing that'll basically figure out what the TV is trying to do and it'll route signal accordingly. It's pretty neat. Little neat thing Cougar does. Little flip up shelf right here to create kind of like a little tool chest, but it's also a little bit longer platform storage right there. Now again, Cougar is and has been, big Cougar like this, full Cougar, has been uh, zero degree rated for several years now, many years. Well. They took it up another step. They've recently totally revised their heating cooling package and they actually improved their uh, their performance. So it was already zero degree rated. I guess 
it's more. <laughs> it's, it's, it's zero degree rated. That's kind of like something I like to do when I go to a clothing store. If I can't find anything I like, I like to grab a shirt. I like to go up to the poor kid making minimum wage work in there. And I like to ask him, hey, do you have this in an extra medium? And just watch their brain explode. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my life. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be about cougars. We have a rear receiver hitch on the back If you want to add a bike rack. It's just a peek into my life by the way. Sorry got a receiver hitch on the back You want to add a bike rack? You can do so without voiding your structural warranty. Isn't that smart? Now you can see the white little sections of those tail lights right there This has reverse travel lighting basically you shift into reverse you get a bright white light behind you Just like your vehicle, you know doesn't that make sense? well that's something that Jayco kind of introduced uh, last year on the Eagle Series in their J-Smart lighting package. And this doesn't have the full thing that Jayco does, but the reverse travel section of that is nice. It's easy. It was a simple thing to add. Uh, oh, simple little note, something I forget to talk about way too often. Below that receiver hitch, there's actually a sewer hose caddy as well, so you don't have to drag that thing in and out of the camper. Now, Cougar is, by far and away, the most heavily cloned and copied fifth wheel ever to exist but when you take a piece of paper and you put it on the copy machine and you run that photocopy you get a functional copy but it's missing fine details and this is one of the areas i think it's most obvious where they're missing is what cougar does just around the slide out so we've got this like hammered tin sidewall skin here that's got a real rough texture to grab these slide seals and i say seals because they always double wipe the seals plus inside the wall there's an interior rain gutter channel after seal number two there's a rain gutter channel to run water away and i say number two because there's a number three behind that. So you've got seal one, seal two, rain channel, and then uh, seal number three on the inside. When the slides all the way in or out, there's always three seals in contact. Then little details like this. You notice how they're using a lighter color bulb seal on the outside here. Seems like a small thing to talk about, but when the slide's closed for a long time, that lighter color seal doesn't grab as much heat and it won't leave that ugly black mark all the way down your RV that you have to scrub off. Then little things like if you take your finger on this bottom trim right here, run your fingernail on it, you can feel an inversion groove. That's so that water beads up and drips down and doesn't wick into your subfloor. Also, how about walkable slide boxes? Nobody talks about that. Cougar does. Now, I don't know that other brands don't have walkable slide boxes, but I know that if they don't talk about it, there's a chance they might not, and I don't have to worry about that here on a Cougar. This is built solid. Like I said, this is built effectively the exact same way as a big Montana, just in a smaller package. And the the things that they're doing, like the ingenuity, the, the rethinking of the bedroom in this one with all that storage and dresser space, being able to integrate a windshield without a loss of storage, really, that's something I think is really, really smart, and I won't be surprised if you see that get kind of knocked off a little bit more in the business as uh, the next year or two rolls on. Um, you know, this it used to be called the 333, then the 344, now the 361, but it's always been awesome. It's always been a standout in a mid-size fifth wheel class, like a three-quarter ton fifth wheel class, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And I think we've pretty much wrapped it up. So whether you're looking for big, small, or in-between, uh, well, we do pretty much everything here at Halet RV with the exception of hidden dealer fees. Those we do not do and we leave those to the big box stores. They seem to do plenty of them. So whether you're looking for hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything between. <laughs> you can see we got 20 acres here. It is packed and we do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone. We'll see you soon.